Hi, welcome or welcome back to the Film and TV channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And we're looking at a comedy drama series today. So we're going to have a look at something that's streamed on Paramount Plus. An eight-part series by about 24 minutes. So it doesn't take much watching, does it? Uh, this was distributed internationally by ITV Studios. And I've watched this on all four. Yeah, so it's actually showing on Channel 4 at the moment. But I watched, I binge-watched it. You know, I like to binge-watch stuff. So today we're going to have a look at uh, something. It's not to do with accountants here or anything like that. It's uh, based in Australia, although the, the lead actress is very British, uh, one of my favourites. I'm going to look at something that's called spreadsheet. Yeah, nothing to do with accountants, you know, believe it. Couldn't be, couldn't be further away from accountants, accountants if you tried this little comedy series. Please, if you are new to this channel, please push that like button if you can for me. And please subscribe as well if you're not already done so and spread the word. I try and do these little reviews on TV dramas and films and information blogs as well. So if you like what you see, please, please give me your support. Make an old man, very old film watcher, drama watcher, very, very happy. Yeah, so spreadsheet, it actually is doing all right on Internet Movie Database. That's Joe Public. Uh, 6.2 out of 10 it scored. This is at the 24th of May 2022, all these scores and comments that I'm going to make. Uh, yeah, so I said 6.2 out of 10. Uh, if you break down the scores, I've ignored the 10 out of 10s and 1 out of 10s, as I usually do. So 192 people scored it between 6 and 9. And just 49 people scored it between 2 and 5. So an 80% 80, 80 positivity rating, although it's, say it's coming down to 6.2 out of 10 on average. And what's it about? Well, there we go. It's not about uh, uh, Lauren, an accountant. It's about Lauren, a divorced mother of two. I'm working lawyer, although obviously from what I know of lawyers, she doesn't seem to be uh, overly busy at the office. She's doing up to other things, obviously. She enjoys casual sex. Uh, with many men, lucky lady. With the help of her best friend, Alex, she develops a spreadsheet. And this is a listing of her sex partners. So it's, it's nothing nothing as in uh, nudity. Obviously, it's just, just actually showing what's happening, you know, obviously under the sheets and under the covers and clothes and stuff like that. So there's no actual full frontal or any sort of, sort of bare buttocks occasionally, but uh, that's about it. So she does a spreadsheet, a listing of her sex partners, hence the name of the series. She rates and customises it to ensure a variety in order amidst the chaos of her life. So she doesn't get confused. She very rarely goes back to set for seconds, as the odd one. But uh, no, she just happy with what she sort of marks and gives some ratings, etc. And what they like and what they don't like. Instead of her sought-after sexual revolution, she ends up with even more complications that even a well-managed Excel tracker cannot control. I never use an Excel tracker. I'm sure it's all right. It's a spreadsheet. And it stars, yes, we've got uh, interesting. There's a lot of Aussie, of course, and Kiwi actors in this, based in Australia. Some faces were familiar, but most most of them weren't to me. But I said the lead is, of course, Catherine Parkinson, so one of my favourite actresses or actors we have to call them now, don't we? She plays the lead in this. You've got other people, Rowan Witt, Stephen Curry, Katrina Milesevic, Robbie J. Magasiva, Ryan Shelton, Zara Newman, all names that I don't really know, Kerry Armstrong, Richard Piper, Christy Whelan Brown, and Bernard Curry, and many others uh, that flip. Flitting in and out of it as well. So, yeah, what's my thoughts? I've got nothing on Rotten Tomatoes. I've got nothing on Metacritic. So we can only go off that internet movie day space. As I said, it's quite positive. And, yeah, it's an interesting series. It's one of those that, as it went along, sort of, it was okay-ish, you know. Uh, Catherine Parkinson, as I said, she's one of my favourite actors, and if it wasn't for her, I would have probably struggled to stick with it. Uh, I just watched it for her, in, in all fairness, and by the by the end of episode eight, that's the only reason I've watched all eight episodes, times the twenty four minutes. So I don't, not overly sure, I would have stuck through it. I say with only, only short episodes, I probably would have done, but I mean, that, she was the main reason. Catherine Parkinson that I watched it in all fairness I mean humour wise it's a comedy drama I didn't find it particularly funny uh, I'm not sure if it's, uh, it appealed to what the Aussie feel but it's a sort of film that or style of comedy drama sorry not a film that we we Brits do very well and, and the US do extremely well as well I mean it's just that sort of uh, it's not as actual, what's the word? It's not it's, um, situation comedy with lines. It, it's facial expressions, it's, it's pauses, it's certain things and, and wording of conversations. And we do it very well, the US do it very well. But uh, this this Australian version, if you like, it just didn't appeal to me. So I say it might be a sense of humour thing, I'm not too sure. 
And as I said, apart from Catherine's characters, there's not really any personality or anyone I really liked of all the other characters in it. There's no, there's obviously a, a, probably about five or six. There's obviously she's got children who are okay, but I found a little bit annoying in this series, which I can do with younger actors. Sometimes I do like the occasional ones, but I found this slot in here uh, a bit annoying uh, and a didn't really add to the story. Obviously, there's a family element, and that family dynamic doesn't doesn't really work for me. I it's, say she's supposed to be a lawyer, but they must obviously be a little bit more laid back in Australia because she couldn't obviously sort of family out, uh, have this sex life and work as well. It just just wouldn't happen. And but I just I just thought every everyone involved, the main characters were just a bit weak. Uh, I say it was just literally Catherine. You know, I watched the whole thing for. And the things with the sex, obviously each episode starts with a, a sexual encounter with heavy breathing and various moaning and groaning. That seems to be the standard thing for each of the eight episodes and obviously there's bits and pieces in it as well. But I didn't find it particularly uh, funny, uh, laugh out loud funny. No, I didn't find anything uh, laugh out loud in this, to be honest with you. I might have smiled a couple of times, as I said, but based on that the lead actors have already mentioned, you know, some perhaps a conversation she was having or something happened. But a lot of the storylines are, are pretty weak, uh, similar to what I've seen in other films where sex is involved about, you know, uh, certain diseases being passed on and stuff like this. But uh, yeah, I mean, even if I take out, even if you take out the fact it's not a good comedy, which I don't think it is, the drama just isn't clever enough or deep enough or interesting enough to sort of keep your attention. So. For me, I, I seem to be in a bit minority. Most people seem to like it. The early scores are quite positive. There's looking through the reviews, there's some eight and nines, and then you get people saying it's rubbish. So you got a, a wide selection. There's, but as I said, most people seem to like it. But that could be that could be uh, casting crew and friends and family, couldn't it? Who posting these things? I don't. I don't trust it for one thing. So yeah, as a drama. Uh, a bit weak as a comedy again a bit weak it really wasn't that funny and as i said the only reason i watched it was for, for Catherine parkinson so if you like Catherine parkinson like me you might might watch it but purely for her purely for that young lady i will i will give it a five out of ten which is my minimum score just as, as, as I'm, it's okay <laughs> bit meh but uh yeah and i'd only give it a five out it wasn't kathleen parkinson it probably wouldn't, wouldn't have, i wouldn't have rated it i want to give it a score it's only, only for that lady's presence in this so if you're a big fan you might enjoy it but i say as far as as far as the script as far as a start as far as a as, as if you like a, a screenplay uh bang average to to pretty boring and mundane in all fairness let me know what you think guys anyway if you're watching this as i say it's currently showing weekly on channel four i think catch up and binge watch it uh, as I did on all four as well let me know what you think it'd be great to hear from you anyway thanks for watching and that's one thing until we meet again don't I please you and your family stay safe thanks for watching bye for now